All right, this is second grade, module four, lesson two. And in this, we're going to continue adding and subtracting using um, multiples of 10 and place value uh, to add and subtract multiples of 10. Now, the idea is we're going to continue practicing what we began uh, in our previous lesson using number bonds and the arrow way, all right? Um, and the idea is this is not the standard algorithm yet because what we're doing is we're trying to get kids to understand number sense and how to get the answer without that standard algorithm because in doing so, it really kind of means that they're developing that number sense. Uh, ultimately, however, they will learn the standard algorithm. And in this lesson, um, teachers, you are being directed to use uh, rec and recs. Now, you don't have to use a rec and rec. Now, there are some online rec and recs, uh, virtual rec and recs. Uh, they kind of look like abacuses. Um, you don't need them. It's not necessary. So if, if you're looking at this uh, lesson and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to buy a class set of rec and recs, no, you don't. Uh, you can fake it. It's okay. Uh, particularly just using number bonds and the arrow method is, is more than sufficient. So let's practice. And we're going to use, um, oh, let's do the number bond first. So for this 28 plus 40 right here, uh, we're going to use the number bond. And uh, there are a variety of ways to do the number bond, but in this case, I'm going to take 28 and I'm going to break it up to 8 plus 20 and then I can add our multiples of 10 right here. So 40 plus 20 is equal to 60. So now we have 8 plus 60 which is 68. Now of course we could have also used the arrow method and the arrow method a uh, variety of ways we could have done that. We could have done, started with 28 and said, well, let's add 10. That gives us 38. Let's add 10. That gives us 48. Let's add another 10. That gives us 58. And finally add another 10, and that gives us 68. So the idea is we could either use the number bond or the arrow method, and they both give us, in this case, 68. So for question F, uh, we have a missing add end. And uh, so students in second grade are going to know, hey, that means we can use subtraction to get that missing value. Or, um, yeah, subtraction. Uh, of course, subtraction doesn't necessarily mean the standard algorithm. We could go use the arrow method. And uh, in fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with 62. And 62 says um, this adding by 22 to get to 62 means we're going to work backwards. And we're going to work backwards and we're going to subtract by 10. That gives us 52. Subtract by another 10. That gives us 42. And then we're going to subtract by 1. That gives us 41. And I just ran out of room. So there's our 41. And then we're going to subtract by another 1. And that gives us 40. And there is our missing add end. 40 plus 22 is equal to 62 right here. Uh, we could have used the um, number bond method if we chose. Uh, but the arrow method on this case is just, just fine. Now if you want to see the Era, uh, the number bond method. Uh, students are going to be learning this in a more formal way later. Uh, so it's absolutely not necessary, oops, absolutely not necessary that they get this today in this lesson. But they could say, all right, well, 62 minus 22. We could do a number bond for 22 and get 20 and 2. So now the students can do, well, 62 minus 20 gives us 42, and then 42 minus 2 gives us 40. Now, this is not explicitly taught in this lesson, but if students want to know how to use the number bond on this problem for subtraction, you're welcome to show them. Our last examples 
for this video, we have 55 minus 20. And so one idea to do this is you could do a number, but let's do a number bond first. So this would be 5 plus 50, and that gives us 55. And then we can see that 50 minus 20 gives us 30, plus our original 5 means our answer is 35. Now that's one way to do it. Students could have used the arrow method and could have said, well, let's start with 55, and 55 minus 10 gives us 45, minus another 10 gives us 35. So there's a couple ways to do it, the number bond method and the arrow method, and they both give us 35. Uh, on question E, uh, you might have to start with, now students might not necessarily know that you could subtract 67 minus 47 to get our missing subtraction, our missing, subtra yeah, <laughs> portion of our subtraction problem. I forget the right word for that word, that number. Anyway, um, uh, so you might have to do something small like 7 minus what equals 3 and have the students recognize that, oh, the missing value is 4 and we could have done 7 minus 3 to get four, all right, kind of like the fact family. So you might have to do this kind of prep work before you're able to do 67 minus blank equals 57. But eventually, you're going to get 67. The students will know that they need to do 67 minus 47. And so uh, one way to do that is the um, arrow method or the number bond method. Let's start with the number bond method. So the number bond method. Let's start with doing the number bond, and we can subtract and change the 47 to 40 and 7. So now we have 67 minus 40. And 67 minus 40, the students might kind of use the arrow method to do 67 minus 40 and get 27. And now we have 27 minus 7 gives us 20. One way to do it, the idea is, is this the most efficient way to, to get that answer? Absolutely not. But what we want for students to do is to not just jump straight to blindly using an algorithm. Instead, we want the, the students to develop number sense and the idea that they could take 47 and they could break it up into something more convenient. Had we wanted to, we could have taken 67 and done the number bond for it instead. And we really want students to be able to know that they can manipulate the numbers to suit them. They don't have to just blindly use an algorithm to get the answer. Although it is efficient, uh, if it's done at the expense of developing number sense, that's no good. And that is second grade module four, lesson two using the number bond and arrow method to add and subtract multiples of 10.